Clear the sandbox. Since the grounded hot and hazy update 0.11 was released, the sandbox is the hardest area of the backyard. Ant lions and the CERN burning effect will challenge your survival skills. Reason why? I suggest you leave the sandbox area for last. Every milk molar upgrade you make, new armor and weapons you craft, and mutation you unlock will help you when facing ant lions. To make this tutorial faithful to the challenge and to help players that jump in the sandbox as the first thing, I will gear up and use only items prior to the hot and hazy update. My setup is Ladybug Armor Set, Weevil Shield, Stinger Spear Level 5, and Fiber Bandages. One new item you will need is the Ant Shovel. Don't come without it. All the rest you see in the inventory are amenities. For mutations, I got Mom Jeans and Meat Shield for max health. There are two ways to go in the sandbox passing through the black ant hill or zip lining from the picnic table. The safest way is through the picnic table, as you won't get lost in the black ant hill or encounter a bunch of black soldier ants. If you don't know how to climb the picnic table, a guide on that is being suggested on the top right corner of the screen. And I also added a link to the video description. There's a bunch of things to do when collecting the sandbox and the best way to show you is with our bird's eye view. There are 5 ant lion guarded holes on the sandbox. A chest with 1 milk molar and the salt morning star weapon recipe. 2 other milk molars and 2 mega milk molars. And a lab room with the sandbox burgle chip. The first thing we will do is to go in the lab room and grab the sandbox burgle chip. Next, we will grab the melted moat key to unlock the chest of the salt morning star weapon recipe, the ant lion exterminator. After that, we are going to fight the ant lion from hole number 4 to collect salt and craft the salt morning star. With this amazing one-handed club, we will clear all other holes. Area semi-secure, we go for the milk molars. One important detail, to avoid the sizzle, the burning effect, plan to be in the sandbox between 3 p.m. and 10 a.m. So, that's the plan. Let's execute it. Step 1. Get the sandbox burgle chip. To go in the lab, you need the assistant manager keycard got by defeating the assistant manager in the Black Ant Hill lab quest. If you haven't completed the quest yet and want some help on that, a video tutorial is being suggested on the top right corner of the screen. And I also added a link to the video description. Step 2. Unlock the moat chest. First, we got to dig up the melted moated key and you can do it any time of the day if you know where it's located. And here it is! Now, let's unlock the chest and grab the milk molar and the salt morning star recipe. Thank <laughs> you. 
Step 3. Collect 20 salt charts. This is the toughest combat you will encounter to complete the sandbox area and I suggest you use mom jeans for it. I call the hole 4 the salt mine, and it is connected to hole 3. Before mining, clear the mine from ant lions, usually there are two of them, and then collect all salt charts you can carry. Step 4. Craft and upgrade the Salt Morning Star. This weapon will kill ant lions in 5 to 8 hits. It is worth investing the time to craft it and upgrade it. To unlock the Salt Glob recipe, you need to deliver the picnic table burgle chip and buy the recipe from the burgle swap shop. This video has been suggested before and a link for it is on the video description. Step 5. Clear all other holes. Kill ant lions and collect all resources from the holes. I also changed the meat shield mutation to cope the grass to amplify my weapon's damage. Hole 1, you will find a smashed can. Thank you. 
do, you will find an empty hot chachas candy box. Hole 3, the connection to hole 4. Hole 5, you will find a Mega Milk Molar. Back to the bird eyes view for a second. Hole 1 spawns various charged resources. Hole 2 spawns spicy resources and others. Hole 3 the connection to hole 4. Hole 4 the salt mine. Hole 5, Mega Milk Molar Hole. The Antlion Hole Guardians respawn and together with them Quartzite, Spicy, Mint and Salt Charms. Step 6, Collect All Milk Molars. Oops! Look at that! Glowing lights are treasures. Every time you see one, dig it up. Harvest a bunch of clover leaves in the sandbox oasis and five grass planks.
In this spot, there is a mega milk molar. Let's build a structure to go in it. Now, chop all wheat stems you can and take them close to the sand castle. Build a ramp and a bridge to the center tower of the castle. This is also the place to complete the quest Explorer Sandcastle Tower. If you have the quest, add to your inventory the materials to build a trail mark. The last milk molar is between the backyard fence and the sandbox. Jump down to collect it. And you are done! Crab Sandbox 100% complete. If you guys have any doubt about this tutorial or anything else around it, leave a comment below and I will help you. A bunch of content around it is still to come. Miss none of that by subscribing to Spy. It's okay, I'll let you spy on me.